Shalom family. This morning I just want to share with you, it's one of my favorite psalms, one of many, but the specific part of it is really a heart's cry for me always and should be for all of us. And I want to share that with you and just show you how powerful just this piece is. And do yourself a favor and go and read through Psalm 51 in your own time, verse by verse, and just meditate on these words. I'm going to read for you from verse 10 to verse 13. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your way. And sinners shall be converted to you. It, it's such a beautiful scripture and it lays it out so nicely. Only God can help us create a clean heart inside us. Because it is so easy for us to become muddied and Tainted by the world. Create in me a clean heart, O God. More like Christ, less like me. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. We grow tired. We grow weary. We need the Lord to renew that steadfast spirit within us. To strengthen us. To lift us up. To give us that push. Renew that spirit within me. And then the desperate cry, these two things make or break us. Do not cast me away from your presence. We seek his presence as a deer seeks and pants after water. We need God's presence around us. It is where we are safe with the shepherd. It is where we feel strongest in his presence by his strength. Do not Cast me away from your presence. There's nothing worse than that as a punishment. And do not take your Holy Spirit from me. God with us, the gift given us when Jesus went to go prepare a place for us. The Holy Spirit with us. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Because then I will be alone. I need God with me. And I affirm I am nothing without God. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, your Yeshua. A lot of times in Christian life, you start getting into the rut of things and you're just going through the motions. The joy you felt when you discovered Jesus, when you discovered the truth, when you knew everything was real and you bonded with God, that joy seems to fade sometimes if you don't focus and if you don't stay in him and drink deeply from the well. So restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Only he can uphold us and carry us. And once this thing is done, I can now in power and joy and strength Teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. The Great Commission, going out there, spreading the gospel, sharing the good news, making a difference to every single person out there. But we can't do it without God, without His general, generous spirit, without Him upholding us, touching us, strengthening us, restoring us. To the joy of our salvation, renewing a steadfast spirit in us, giving us a clean heart and focusing us on him. Eyes on Christ. And then we are able to run the race set before us. Encourage one another. Watch and wait on the Lord. Shalom.